Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on God Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today, where we've got all three of the next Vanguard Zombies teaser trailers released today, as well as we finally get the reveal to this unprecedented free drop that was released into the game today, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to hear your guys' reaction to it. But without further ado, let's kick things right off with our first story of the day, where I kind of expected this to come like a week or two in the future. They are deciding to do it this week with the official reveal of the Vanguard Zombies mode, as developed by Treyarch, will be done via an online event this Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Along with this announcement of the reveal event, we got three separate teaser trailers along with it. The first one tweeted out by Treyarch themselves starts with a runic symbol followed by a zombie's hand revealing the fact that there will in fact be zombies in Vanguard Zombies who would have guessed but we do get a little bit more information as to the theme of the Vanguard Zombies mode when the Sledgehammer Twitter account tweeted out this where we've got what a lot of people are thinking are some kind of Egyptian inspired demon zombie antagonist that is going to be featured heavily in the Vanguard Zombies storyline reaching out to us just to say hi or as Chroma edited on Twitter to kindly offer you a nice crisp glass of chalky milk. So thank you very much, Ethereal Boss Demon. We'll be seeing you very shortly, I assume. And lastly, the most significant trailer we got for the mode came from the official Call of Duty account, which in just a few words pretty much sums up what we expect the general theme of Vanguard Zombies to be, where they say it's zombies plus the Dark Aether plus demons. It's our first look at what's most likely the human antagonist in this new storyline is flanked by what could be this game's version of some kind of special boss zombie, or they could be just some camping meta-Germans in some wonky looking ghillie suits. But either way, we will be getting the full reveal of the mode later this week, and we'll be able to see whether or not Vanguard does include a regular round-based zombies map, or if it's as kind of there's rumblings about that Vanguard zombies will in fact launch with kind of a hybrid mode of Onslaught, Outbreak, and round base maps, and then possibly have a traditional round base map released at the start of Season 1. We'll get those answers soon, but the answer we got today was what exactly is Call of Duty hyping up this unprecedented free drop released into Black Ops Cold War today? Well, the answer is that apparently certain Vanguard exclusive tiers are being added into the Season 6 Battle Pass, where on every free tier of the Battle Pass, along with the original item that released at the start of Season 6, they've now added a Vanguard Vanguard specific item on top of it. All of the content included in these Vanguard exclusive tiers can't be used in any zombies mode at the moment, although the weapon blueprints that you unlock for a new weapon like the M1 Grand can be used, but exclusively in Warzone. And we'll have to wait until the actual release of Vanguard Zombies to be able to use these weapon blueprints in a Zombies mode. Although in their public blog post about this unprecedented free drop, this line did kind of catch my interest where they say that three sprays to tag up Verdansk, Rebirth Island, or Vanguard's multiplayer and Zombies maps, and eventually the new Warzone map. Confirming that the Zombies maps, again, we don't know if that's plural because there's gonna be multiple maps at launch or because of its DLC season, they'll add maps into the game, but you'll be able to tag up the environment of the map with customizable sprays to make each and every game of Vanguard Zombies a little bit your own. But guys, that wraps up the news today. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, definitely be sure to tap out and check out yesterday's edition of the Zombies News Update. I expected Treyarch to release a new patch fixing some of the initial issues with Forsaken today. They didn't do that. Definitely tap out, check out yesterday's video to figure out where you shouldn't go on the new map Forsaken, but I want to thank you again for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies News Update tomorrow. Peace.